everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a problem which is based on the concept of kinetic energy. So let us look at the problem here. A body of mass 5 kg is allowed to fall freely under gravity. Find the kinetic energy of the body after 4 seconds and also after 7 seconds after it starts falling. Compare the kinetic energies of the body in both the cases taking g equals 9.8 meters per second squared. So we have a body which is freely falling and is of mass 5 kg and we need to calculate its kinetic energy after the, after the end of 4 seconds as well as after 7 seconds. So let us try to find out and first of all we will we'll be listing out whatever the question has provided uh, to us that is the mass of the body is given to be 5 kg. The time which we will be taking as T1 is given to be 4 seconds. The time T2 is given as 7 seconds. Now we have taken 4 seconds to be time T1 and 7 seconds to be T2. At the end of those timings we need to find out what is the kinetic energy of the body that it has. Now in order to calculate the kinetic energy of a body we need two things that is first is the mass of the body and the second thing is the velocity of the body at that particular instant of time. So as you can see we have the value of the mass of the body here but we do not have the velocity of the body in these two cases. So for that we will be using one of the equations of motion that is the first equation of motion for freely falling bodies since this body is freely falling in this case with the initial velocity to be 0 and the acceleration of uh, gravity to be 9.8 meters per second squared. So with these two values we have the velocity v1 at the end of 4 seconds to be g t1. So on putting that value we have uh, the velocity v1 to be 9.8 into 4 which turns out to be v1 equals 39.2 meters per second. Similarly we can uh, find out the second velocity after time t2 and we can use the same formula that is g t2 for v2. So in this case we have the value to be 9.8 multiplied by 7 since t2 equals 7 seconds. So on multiplying these we have v2 equals 68.6 meters per second. So now we have both the uh, velocity values as well as we have the mass of the body. So we just need to put the formula and get the answer now, isn't it? So let us go ahead with the same thing. So we have v1 to be 39.2 meters per second and v2 to be 68.6 meters per second. Now. The kinetic energy of the body at the end of 10, uh, 4 seconds is half mv square. So on putting the value of v1 here we have ek1 equals half multiplied by 5 which is the 5 kg which is the mass of the body multiplied by v1 which is 39.2 the whole squared. So at the end we get ek1 that is the kinetic energy of the body at the end of 4 seconds to be 3.84 into 10 power 3 joules. Now in the same way we can calculate the kinetic energy of the body at the end of 7 seconds as well. So let us try to do that. So even here in this case we will be using the same formula that is half mv square. So ek2 that is the kinetic energy of the body at the end of 7 seconds is given by half multiplied by 5 multiplied by 68.6 the whole square. Now on evaluating this we have ek2 equals 11.76 into 10 power 3 joules. Now you can clearly see that ek1 is less as compared to ek2 which means the kinetic energy of the body at the end of 7 seconds is greater as compared to its kinetic energy at the end of 4 seconds. Now why? Uh, what's the reason behind that? The reason being the velocity of the body is lesser in the first case as compared to the second case and we all know that kinetic energy of a body depends uh, varies as the square of the velocity so greater the velocity greater will be the body's kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of the body after se 7 seconds is greater than the kinetic energy of the body after 4 seconds and that is solely because 
of because of the reason that the body has a greater velocity at the end of 7 seconds as compared to the velo to the velocity that it has at the end of 4 seconds so with this we have solved the entire problem and i hope this video was helpful to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning